Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. You know, when I was looking at this Raspberry Pi OS, they actually have a version Raspberry Pi desktop for PC or Mac. And I keep thinking I'm going to put it on one of my little two-in-one laptops here, but I don't want to. So let's go ahead and make a virtual machine in Hyper-V. And I'm even going to show you how to RDP to this once we get it going. So watch all the way to the end. This is pretty cool. So I've already downloaded this Raspios Buster i386 dated January 11 of 21. That's the image you need to load it on your desktop, PC, or Mac. There we go. I've copied it over to the local disk on my Hyper-V server. Let's go ahead and build a new virtual machine. I'm going to call this Raspberry Pi OS. And I always store my virtual machines on my SSD, my D drive there. We'll stay with Generation 1. I was thinking of using dynamic memory, but I don't know if this Raspbian would support that. I'm just going to go with the gig of memory. Let's connect to the LAN. And we're going to go ahead and create a virtual hard disk. These dynamically expand. So you can say it's 127 gigs, but it doesn't start out that big. Next. Now we're going to point to that ISO as the CD DVD ROM drive. There we go. Open it up. Next. Now let's finish. I'm going to go ahead and connect to the virtual machine named Raspberry Pi OS. And let's turn it on. I was a little confused by this boot screen. I kept trying to hit the down arrow automatic boot in five seconds. Now that I'm seeing the video over again, it's like, oh yeah, just press one of those letters. I think I wanted to have persistence or graphical install. So I'm going to have to do this again, but not in the scope of this video. Let's just press on. Yeah, run with persistence. I'll have to see. <laughs> this is fun though. I hope you're enjoying this. So it takes a few seconds here. Now it goes through all this starting up Linux stuff. All right, raising the network interfaces. We're going to crop and compress some of this out here. I'm getting impatient. This black screen is wearing me down. <laughs> I'm scrolling down to the bottom of the screen to make sure I'm not missing anything and scrolling back up to the top. Beginning to think it's not going to work. And then, oh, there's a menu bar. Oh, there's the desktop. Yay. Okay, so now we're running this in Hyper-V and working with uh, virtual machines in Hyper-V is kind of difficult. We'll just finish the setup here. Okay, country United States, time zone is Phoenix. Okay, we want to use the English language and use a U.S. keyboard. So again, if you have an old PC or Mac, you could theoretically install this on that device. Like I say, I'm just lazy. I'm doing it on a virtual machine because it's so much easier. It takes five minutes to create a virtual machine and switch it on and boot it up. Oh, good. We get to change the default Pi user account password. There's a lot of verbiage here. I'm going to click OK. OK, then. Well, the first thing I want to do then is use my Universal Remote Desktop client and try to connect to my Raspberry Pi OS desktop there. Yeah, that was a pretty well-received video, the Microsoft Universal Remote Desktop Client for Windows 10. That's what we're using here. We're going to go ahead and add a PC. Oh, I need the IP address. Let's go get that. I'm thinking of opening a terminal here and uh, doing an IP config or IF config. Yeah, you got to scroll up to the top there. There we go. You can see we are connected to the LAN on the upper right hand corner those opposing arrows. Oh, I'll just click here. 
Yeah, this should show me my IP address, right? Yeah, there it is. 192.168.1.73. So let's try RDPing to that address there. I like this universal remote desktop client. It lets you configure different login accounts and save them. You can assign those to specific groups of computers. It's pretty... Uh, Pretty big improvement on the old RDC man or just straight up uh, RDP. And of course, we're going to give this a display name that's appropriately descriptive, Raspberry Pi OS. Okay, so moment of truth. And we get an error. Something went wrong. Well, I knew it couldn't be that easy. All right, so I'm going to go to Bing and how to RDP to Debian. There's two articles here. Look for the links in the description down below. This one's very, very detailed. I'm going to avoid that. I like this one because it's just got one line in it. sudo apt-get install xrdp. So we're going to try the simple method first. sudo apt-get install x rdp hit enter yeah in hyper v the virtual machine actually wasn't responding well to the keyboard i can't wait to get it into rdp yes we want to continue let's install all that stuff and again me being the impatient one it has these long pauses in between we're cropping and compressing of course it stops for a really long time here, and I get impatient, and I go ahead and try to bang on it. Oh, this looks like I'm going to connect. Just about ready to give up. It's taking a long time. This blue screen is weird. Oh, what's that? Hang on. <laughs> oh boy, here comes the desktop. Waiting for the taskbar. Okay, here comes the taskbar. All right, so I have access to Thani, so I could do some Python programming here if I wanted to. This is pretty cool. So we're running the Raspberry Pi OS desktop on a virtual machine in Hyper-V and we've just enabled RDP using XRDP in Debian and you see here we're RDP'd into that virtual machine. It's actually you're in here as a remote session not directly connected to the console. This is fun. I'm going to play around with this a lot more. Leave a comment down below if you know what uh, button to press in that first boot up that will install it permanently. Because if we go back into Hyper-V here, I'm going to look at the size of the disk drive for the virtual machine. Yeah, so we go to D, Hyper-V, and uh, Raspberry Pi OS, the virtual hard disks. And that virtual hard disk is only 400, is only, that virtual hard disk is only 4 megabytes. So I'm assuming we're just running off the CD and it's got some pointers on the disk perhaps. But still, this is pretty cool. We're going to keep playing with this. Yeah, see, I can only log out. I can't shut down or anything from this session. So it's like having a terminal session in the Windows world. Anyway, I hope you'd enjoy checking this out, running the Raspberry Pi OS desktop as a virtual machine in Hyper-V. I certainly had fun trying it for the first time. Give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and before you go watch more of my Raspberry Pi playlist, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.